rejoice. We're finally out at sea again, with all our ties to land cast off. The last of it went under with the sun. The night surrounds us now, the sails softly pulling. The others lie asleep below. Only the stars appear to keep me company on this mute and vacant sea. Though all is featureless and bare, when last I checked the chart it showed that near at hand lie unseen, unnamed ocean glades where humpback whales glide and sing. All at their majestic glacial pace, great, gentle cloud-like beings drifting with currents too slow to sense. As we approach their range, our boat bows and curtsies in graceful, mazy arcs. I lean my back against the helm and watch the mast sweeping across vast fields of stars. Infinite landlessness. I would not trade this hour for anything I know. Rock me gently, ocean. I'm coming home. A long, dark wire winds and coils down through the midnight ship to a listening point beneath the keel. Up, out of the dark waters pour wild arias, cantatas, magnificats, recitatives and requiems whose boiling echoes are tumbling and cascading around the cathedral vaults of the sea. A mad welter of resonance, a seething, irrepressible contrabass, mezzo, soprano, falsetto of whale song. The wildest, most joyous music of all. All night long we are borne along by that music. The watches rotate and shift. Each lone helmsman takes his turn, and each, by dawn, is changed forever.